I'm Tyler Oaks, and today I'd like to present to you guys a very cool animal that is very common in New Mexico. This is a young northern Mojave rattlesnake that I rescued from somebody's house. Uh, this is kind of a test video, so I don't really know how well the recording is going to go. I'm using a tablet and a five gallon bucket, so uh, give me a little slack on the quality. But let's see how his temperament is and whether or not he is willing to allow us to take a look. Mojave rattlesnakes are nocturnal predators, ambush predators that feed primar primarily on rodents. And uh, they are generally not interested in harming anybody. You're all right. They want nothing more than to get away from people. Sorry, buddy. And this one's actually got really good temperament so far. Hey, look at, look at. He's getting mad because I'm hanging on to him. They don't like it when you hang on to them. You're okay. Now, in fact, if I let go of him, he'll probably calm down quite a bit and allow us to get a good look. But as you can see, he wants nothing more than to get away. He's not striking, he's not even rattling really. They're an absolutely beautiful species of snake. This one had the misfortune to end up in somebody's kitchen and that's the reason that we ended up having to go and get him. Uh, they have hemotoxic and mixed with sometimes neurotoxic venoms that can be very dangerous. The other species that's considered to be more dangerous than the Mojave is the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, which is common in the east coast of America. These ones here, they don't get a whole lot bigger than this. They usually get between uh, three, four feet long. A real massive one might get five feet long. But this one here is definitely a young one. He's been eating really well. The lady I rescued him from has a serious mice problem. And that is where he's been getting all his food from. But as you can see, if we can leave these animals alone, then we're definitely not gonna ever risk taking a bite. Now this one's a little small, and the smaller they are, in my opinion, the faster they are which means that tailing it like this is kind of a risk, but I wanted to take this risk in order to show you the relative docility of these snakes. He has no interest in biting me. He's consistently just trying to get away, as you can see. What a beautiful, beautiful snake. Now, what I'm probably gonna do with him is I'm gonna take him to a nearby wildlife preserve it's mainly for birds and things like that, not really for snakes, but he will be perfectly happy there, have loads of rodents to feed on, and live out his days. Um, if you ever see one of these animals, try to leave it alone. There's lots of people that you can call in your local area. Animal control deals with rattlesnakes. I don't believe they kill them. And um, there's lots of people like me that just love animals and are willing to relocate them. And it's much safer for us and for them when we do this. Because people are often bitten by rattlesnakes because they're playing with the rattlesnake like I am, or because they tried to kill the snake and underestimated its strike range, underestimated its capabilities. These are apex predators, capable of moving lightning fast and delivering really powerful venom. So when possible, we just wanna stay out of their way and they'll do everything they can to stay out of our way. What a beautiful, beautiful snake. And so calm, too. You can see he has no interest in me. He's like, what's going on here? He hasn't even light, lit up his rattle or anything. He's, he's just being a little, little calm guy. I'm going to see if I can get him a little closer to the camera so you can get a look. There he is, northern Mojave rattlesnake, 
absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. Whoa, wonderful day. And uh, with that, since he's been so calm and so nice with me, I do believe I'm just going to let him uh, go back into the wild very, very soon when I take him to the wildlife preserve, as stated. All right, God bless y'all, and that's about all for now. I'll see how this video went, and maybe if it's not all that great, I'll make another one before I let him go. But uh, don't try this at home unless you have a passion for saving wild animals like I do. And if you do, make sure you receive proper training, just like I did, to handle these beautiful animals. All right. God bless y'all. I'm going to put him back in here so he's ready for transport. And that's all for now.